So I'm following a black bear's trail here, and the interesting thing to find along this path is that other species use it. So this is an old black bear scat from the spring, made out of uh, grasses and things. And here is an antler shed, probably also from the spring, from our local species of black-tailed deer. Now, coming over here, we come across a really old log. Now, this log has been decomposing here for several years. And as the log breaks down into fibers and these little sawdust type pellets, it uh, becomes the type of substrate that certain animals like for scent marking. And in this case, we have a beautiful mountain lion scat right in the middle of it. So not only does this trail support black bears and deer, it also supports mountain lions, gray foxes, skunks, opossums, raccoons, flying squirrels, and others. But look at this fantastic mountain lion scat. Let's look a little closer at that. Okay, this scat is a really nice example of a mountain lion scat. Um, the width of most of the pieces is about an inch, and it's got that classic appearance. So one uh, thing that we call it is a ball and socket type appearance because it literally is segmented into sort of these little uh, segments that look like um, like golf balls or like uh, squashed marshmallows. And uh, they fit together with the little sockets on the end of them. So if you were to break these apart, you'd get this little socket like this right here. Um, so ball and socket appearance, um, about an inch in diameter, very hard, doesn't break apart easily, it's very firm. It's densely packed fur inside there. You can see the contents there. This end is tapered, which we normally consider to be a characteristic of uh, canine scats, but it really is that this is the last part that came out when uh, the mountain lion deposited this. Because as you notice, there's a little taper right here that that's because another one of these segments uh, separated from it right there. And uh, that's why that's got that appearance. But definitely has the ball and socket appearance. Um, I'd say this is a larger quantity than I'd expect from a bobcat, although bobcats do live here. Most of the bobcats around here deposit much smaller scats. Um, there is a couple of mountain lions that have been here, and on this particular uh, area, I've documented them depositing scats before, and I, a couple weeks ago, three of them walked past this camera. So um, I do have a trail camera on this location, and if I got this uh, mountain lion depositing the scat on camera, which, knock on wood, I hope I got, knock on wood there, um, I hope I got it, and I'll be able to show you this uh, being deposited, but this is a beautiful mountain lion scat. And look at the, the ball-like appearance of it, which is, uh, you know, canine scats can show that a little bit more um, when they're dry, but uh, mostly canine scats are a little bit ropey and twisty and and have tapered ends and they're a lot looser so if you were to poke at them they'd fall apart, they'd squish easier. This is hard, hard to uh, break apart. It's really dense so that's your feline scats in general are more dense because they uh, their digestive system just seems to remove a lot more of the moisture from the scats and they come out very efficiently digested and and just this kind of grayish powdery stuff with uh, fur. So that's a mountain lion scat, and we are on a black bear trail. And the beauty of these logs is they're providing habitat for a lot of species. So this work right here was done by a pileated woodpecker breaking down the log. And as that animal works on this log, breaks it down into this finer sawdust-like material, animals like mountain lions and bobcats and gray foxes will use this as a scent marking area because the... Uh, this wood acts kind of like a sponge. And so when they scent mark on this, it'll absorb the scent. And so they'll do things like making scrapes. There's a rough scrape right there. I don't know if that's an actual scrape. I'll have to look on the trail camera and see if anybody scraped right there. But they have in the past. And often when they deposit their scats, like over here, um, they will scrape. So this kind of sawdusty material is perfect for that. So, you know, you just, you can imagine an animal wanting to leave scent, and this stuff is just like a sponge. Soaks up the scent, holds it for a long time, and so they really like this. Great stuff. 
And all of this on a black bear's trail. Pretty cool, huh?